Hello, Rider Flex Nation. Steve Urban here. More career advice and job interviewing tips. And I guess today's podcast really is advice on relationship building with your team members. In this specific example, relationship building and mentoring for people that work for you, people you supervise. I want to share a personal story with you today on a great example of how to lock an employee in for life. How do you get that person to be loyal to you and the company and follow you forever, right? How do you build loyalty and trust and and get them to to basically, you know, jump through rings of fire for you? Here's a true story. I'm not making any of this up. Personal story I'll share with you. So I was, I think I was probably uh, maybe 30 years old at the time, 29, 30 years old. I, I can't quite remember. And I had gone through a divorce recently, a uh, tough time in my life. I actually hid that from my boss at the time. Uh, my boss's name was Dave, uh, one of my you know, greatest mentors of all time special person in my life taught me a lot about not only work and how to supervise people, but just, you know, life lessons. I hid this, this divorce from Dave for as long as I could, because I didn't want him to think I was, uh, you know, I didn't want him to see weaknesses in my performance and think it was tied to the divorce. I didn't want him to, to, you know, look negatively upon me or, or start to worry about my performance because I was going through this personal situation. So I hid it from him for a long time. Eventually he found out, I think he found out through some of my other colleagues that, that knew and he had approached it with me a couple of times on the road when we were together and he, I confided in him and, you know, he was there for me emotionally and and I was able to, to speak to him about it on several different occasions. So he knew what I was going through. Now he also knew that, when my wife had left that she wiped me out at the time I was living in a, this was, uh, this was, uh, the late nineties. I was living in a little tiny trailer house down in South Texas. And my wife at the time had wiped me out and I literally had nothing. Uh, and I, I'm not joking you. I think uh, there was a mattress, uh, on the floor, uh, that I had, pulled out of our old shed because we, because we had thrown it out and I had pulled that inside after my wife left and I had that mattress on the floor and that was about it. (laughs) There was nothing else left. Uh, And somehow Dave found out about that, right? He knew my situation. Well, we were closing a retail store down. We were at a, at a mall. I was a district manager for a retail company at the time. We were at a mall. We were closing a store down. Dave, my boss, was there. He was like the regional manager. He was there. We were closing it down. We were loading up trucks. We were, you know, getting rid of supplies, etc. Well, the back room of this little retail store where the associates went on break, it had a little tiny mini refrigerator, a little mini microwave, you know, a little break table, some some kitchen kind of supplies and and appliances, etc. Well, Dave, on his own, rented a U-Haul that he, that he paid for himself, brought it to the location that day, told the company workers not to return the, the microwave and the refrigerator and the break table and a few chairs and some other supplies. He loaded those items up with me in this U-Haul that he rented and at the end of the day, followed me back to my house and unloaded that stuff into that little trailer I was living in. It was the first set of furniture that I had after, after my divorce. And I'm actually trying to do this podcast without choking up that, that I cannot tell you what that did for, for me as a person. And at that point, like I would, I would have killed for the guy, right? I mean, there, there's nothing I wouldn't do for him after that. 
And in fact, the only reason I ever left that job was because Dave went on to basically retire and music retailers started shutting down stores, which is, which is why I eventually left that job. The point is I never would have left the guy, right? Probably. I mean, I would have done anything for him at that point. He had me locked in forever. So what's my point of this whole story? My point is, you know, we're all human beings, right? It's not just a supervisor and an employee. It, it, we're human beings. And if we treat each other the right way and we're there for each other in times of need personally, it will go a long, long way in establishing a real relationship that will benefit you professionally as well. So remember that. Remember that when you have a chance to do something for somebody that you work with outside the lines of the professional piece, when you can be there for them in times of need personally, it, it really will make a difference in their life. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. As always, folks, you can visit riderflex.com to learn more about us. You can call in or email us with questions. We'll help you in any way we can. Our podcast can be heard just about anywhere. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.